Hello and welcome to another episode of Destroying Stuff. As always, I'm your host, Slash Raptor. Previously, we took apart a primitive version of a VHS tape, which is not the same. Similar, though. So the last thing on the menu today is this mouse. So let's get on with it. Here's our mouse, and we're going to go and see what happens if I pull on this. Can it come out? No, it cannot. Very well then, I will just can proceed to smack it very hard with my hammer. Ah, there we go. Now we're in. Now we're in it. All right, one more. Whoa. Dude. Microsoft tried to attack me. Look at that. Microsoft attacked me. And look at that. That could if I, that had hit my face, I, I might have lost my eye again or almost lost my eye again. Let's take a look at this. Oh, here we go. Now we're in it. This is interesting. Here we go. Let's take this out and we'll take out this just seems to be the clicking mechanism here. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here are the clicky thingies, and you can see that they are sort of spring-loaded. Sort of, anyway. They're sort of spring-loaded. I wouldn't really say they are, but you can still sort of click with them. But they just kind of bend back to the way they originally were. And you can just kind of bend this right, o right, right over, and the other one can go in this direction. And now that was with a thing you would click with. And here's the pieces of the shell. And now here's the interior of it. And that's what the inside of a computer mouse looks like. Well, a really old computer mouse. This is the kind that has the, the monitor kind of plug. That's how old it is. Let's see, can I destroy this anymore? I think I can. Let's get in here like this. This thing wants out. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Strange. It's resistant to it because of the way it's made. So I don't think I can get that any more destroyed than it is. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Just a, just a little teeny bit. I'm going to go in here and you can torch this. Why am I doing this? Because I can. There. We need a small, insignificant little flame in there. That was kind of neat. Maybe that might that might actually have done something productive. Let's see. Nope. Still does not want to. Oh, it's oh. Cool. Though it did not last very long, that fire, or that flame, was just enough to weaken this wall, so I might be able to get in here. Ha. <sighs> huh. That's almost out. 
I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you out of there. Aha! Here we go. I got it. It's mine. There. Now I got it out. This is what I wanted, because now I can get this. And this is cool. These are the balls at the bottom of the mice. Now, one thing you need to know with this, never, ever, ever put Silly Putty around it. Because Silly Putty is impossible to get off of it. They, they, they have some sort of a chemical reaction that seems to fuse them together. Why did I put Silly Putty around one of this? Because I wanted to see if I could make the ball bigger. So I used this as a base and built outwards using Silly Putty. Bad idea. Oh, and you can look really closely here. I'm trying to get this open. Oh, wait. There's, it, it, it's going to come now. Here we go. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Here's the here's the roof of the of the part that I that I scorched. So that's what it looked like. It got kind of burnt. And then here's the rest of it. And this cord, and this cord leads to the inside of it like this, which is attached to the motherboard, which is still in remarkable condition despite the fact that I tried to burn it. This wraps around here, and then you would take it. And then it just kind of does its thing that way. Huh. Now I know how computer mice work. Anyway, that's about it for this episode of Destroying Stuff. As always, I'm your host, Slash Raptor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys some other time. Not, I can't tell how many more episodes there will be at this time, so, uh... Um... Just stay tuned, because there might be some more. I'm trying to make it to 100 episodes, and at this point, I don't think I'm quite there yet. But anyway, peace out.